Welcome to part four of Advanced Topics, section 6.3. We're doing complex fractions here today. We have a nice uh, challenge problem here, which is this complex fraction, and it does look complex. Now, the tricky thing with this, it's not as bad as it seems. We just have these negative exponents here. So we're gonna have to try to break this down a little bit and simplify this numerator. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna use blue for the top, I'm gonna to start there, and I'm gonna change this to be one over m, okay? And then plus one over, and then if it's to the negative second power, it's gonna be p squared. So technically, that anytime you have a negative exponent, to make it positive, you just put it in the denominator of a fraction. And then same thing with p to the negative two, you just put one over p squared. So that's our first step, this is gonna be our change Okay, under divide sign. And then this is the bottom, this is the denominator. We're gonna have two. Now, the two is not affected by the m to the negative second, so we're gonna put m squared in the bottom here, minus one over p. Okay, now what do we do from here? Well, we need to simplify the top and bottom independently so that it's all one fraction. So I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm gonna simplify him first, and actually I'm gonna use this space up here. Okay, up there. So I need to find a common denominator with these two. One way to always get a common denominator is just to multiply the two bases together. So I know my common denominator is gonna be m times p squared. Now if I have a common denominator of m times p squared, I see that both my fractions don't have that, so I need to change the fraction so that they have that represented in their denominator. Now the m is missing the p squared. So I need to multiply the bottom by p squared in the first fraction. But if I multiply the bottom, I also have to multiply the top. The second fraction, uh, I'm actually gonna change the color just so we can be a little bit more, it stands out a little bit. I'll change it to this light green. Okay, so the second fraction, P squared, um, oh, sorry, I, want, I meant to do this. Right here, make this green style, green. Okay, whatever, you guys, I'm too OCD to not want to fix that style. Blue. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to be multiplying by M because the second fraction is missing the M in the denominator, so I need to multiply the top and bottom by M. Now, what do I get? Well, in the first fraction, um, I'm going to move this over because we're going to simplify the, the fractions a little bit more. In the first fraction, I'm going to get this as p squared over m p squared plus i get one times m is m over m p squared again so in the top i just need to add these two guys i get p squared plus m or m plus p squared and this is all over our common denominator which is m p squared or p squared m okay so that is the simplified version p squared plus m over m p squared we have the first one done Okay, divide by, this has become the flip when we flip and multiply by the reciprocal. And now we need to simplify this bottom one. So the bottom one's here. Okay, we need to find a common denominator with this as well. Now a common denominator will always, you can always find one. It might not be the least common denominator, but you can always find one by multiplying by the, uh, sorry, <laughs> multiplying the two denominators together. So what color did I use up here? I used, okay, keep the purple. So I know my denominator is gonna have m squared p in it, okay? Now m squared p, move this down a little bit. The, the two fractions currently on the left and right don't have that, so I need to make sure this, um, let me change this color, let's change this to pink and let's change this one to green, forgot, okay? The reason why I'm doing that is because I recognize that this m squared denominator does not have the p, so I'll multiply by p. And if I multiply it to the bottom, I also have to multiply it to the top. The p is missing the m squared, so I'm gonna multiply both the top and bottom by m squared. Now I have two fractions that have a common denominator. The first fraction being 2p over m squared p minus m squared over m squared p. Notice how the denominators are the same, so now we can go ahead and put this as our final denominator and simply subtract the top, 2p minus m squared. All right, so now we have 2p minus m squared, that's supposed to be a two, over m squared p. 
Now we can keep change flip. So we're gonna keep the top the same, p squared plus m over mp squared. And now we're gonna change this to multiply, multiplying by the reciprocal, multiplying and then after we changed it, and then flipping. m squared, that's an m, p over two p minus m squared. Okay, we're finishing this up. I'm gonna put equal signs and actually gonna give myself a little bit more room by just making this a little bit smaller. Let's see if we can cross cancel anything. Now, you have to be careful with there's addition or subtraction. That needs to be grouped if you're gonna cancel. And since it's not the same thing, we can't cancel it. Uh, so we're gonna cross off the M with one of these M, the P with one of these P's. And then we have in the numerator, M times P squared plus M over P times two P minus M squared. I would distribute here just to have my answer a little bit more neat in expanded form. So I'm gonna simplify this. And so my final answer is going to be m p squared plus m squared over two p squared minus m squared p. And that is my final answer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was section 6.3. This is um, uh, complex fractions. Make sure to tune in for more examples. Uh, and more uh, nested fractions in Khan Academy. There's all types of help on that. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it.